Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be using my Sony FX3 along with my Skywatcher Star Adventure to capture Comet Leonard, so stay tuned. Now first, before I get started, I'll have to apologize if you hear some cows mooing. Uh, in the background, you might be able to see I have my cattle here. I'm at my family's land. And luckily enough, the, my family's land sits under some Bortle II skies, which are very dark skies with very little light pollution. I'm not new to astrophotography. In fact, for the last decade, I've been shooting the nighttime sky. So I created this channel, Astrophoto Booth, along with a website, astrophotobooth.com, so I could document and kind of share my experience specifically with astrophotography. So I do invite you guys to subscribe as I'll be doing a lot of videos like this in the near future. Now for today, I'll be shooting Comet Leonard, like I mentioned, with my Sony FX3. The Sony FX3 is a cinema camera and is best suited for camera work and, and videos. It's a full frame sensor and gathers lots of light with a relatively low noise. Now this isn't my first time shooting a Comet. I shot Comet Pan Stars. That was the first time that I actually was able to capture a Comet. And then of course last year I was able to capture, with a uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure, I was able to capture Comet Neowise as well. So tonight's photo session will present a little bit of a challenge. As the sun goes down, It'll be about 45 minutes or so that I'll have to capture Comet Leonard. I'm planning on doing about a one minute exposure at f2.8 with a ISO of 1600. It's going to give me a decent enough um, amount of detail without uh, also over, you know, if you, expose, if you expose a comet photo for too long, you risk blurring the comet because the comet is traveling counter to the stars rather, or rather, well, it's not traveling with the stars, it's traveling in a different direction. So you do risk blowing it out. Depending on the comet, depending on the speed, you can do upwards of three and four minutes. Again, it all kind of depends on the comet, its trajectory and how it's traveling. But I think for tonight, since kind of the way that it'll be in the sky and the amount of time that I'll have between sunset and moonrise, I'll just have enough dark time to use around a minute, maybe a minute and a half exposures. I wanted to give kind of real quick before we got started, a quick kind of rundown of the setup that I have here. I'm using some old Gitzo uh, 100 millimeter uh, tripod legs. These are some very, very sturdy aluminum uh, legs. On top of that is a Venton Vision 10 100 millimeter uh, cinema uh, fluid head. Next, like I mentioned, I'm using the Sony FX3. On the front here, you may notice, and I can move the camera around to show you. I have a Batonoff mask on the front of this Rokinon lens. And what a Batonoff mask is, is a, the series of uh, slats here inside this filter here. What those do is when you line up, when you focus on a star, it helps assist your focus. Again, you know, with we're, we're focusing on things that are very, very far away. And so it does make it difficult sometimes to gather proper focus. So what, the, what one of these Batonoff masks does is basically give multiple points of light that you can line up your star and know that you have perfect focus on the stars. Because again, these are photography lenses. They're not, they're meant for a wide range of, of capturing things, not in the nighttime sky like a refractor telescope would be. All right, so Venus is starting to get visible right now. I'm gonna go ahead and why, while I got a little bit of daylight left, go ahead and try to get a good focus on this now and kind of get a, a rough alignment or where Comet Leonard's gonna be, as well as, as soon as it gets a little bit darker, go ahead and get a good polar alignment so that I can track these stars properly. All 
All right, guys, I can actually see Comet Leonard. I've got it centered here in my camera. Um, can't quite see it with the naked eye, but with a small set of binoculars, I can, can pick it out. There it is. This looks like a little fuzzy patch, almost like if you're looking up, up at uh, Andromeda, the Andromeda galaxy at night. But yeah, I can see it and I can see it centered in my camera. So I'm gonna take a few test shots here. These are at 20 seconds and I'll throw those up on the screen so you can see them. So I'll take a couple settings or a couple photos like that with those settings. And as it gets darker, I'll be able to take a longer, much longer exposure. It's really cool to be able to capture something like this though. You just don't get to see these things that often. And once it's gone, it's probably gone forever. Comets and their paths are hard to predict, but once Comet Leonard's gone, most likely it's gone forever and we won't ever see it ever again. That's just how, and kind of the nature of comets and how they work. All right guys, Comet Leonard has set below the tree line now, so I can't take any more pictures even if I wanted to. The moon is also starting to rise up here on the east. It's a big, beautiful moon though, it's gorgeous. Unfortunately, with a little bit of twilight that was still left, I was really only able to get uh, some, 90, some 90 second exposures. I ended up bumping my exposure up just a little bit so that I could, uh, and then I dropped my f-stop down to f4 to get to just a little bit more in focus and uh, kind of tweak my ISO a little bit as well. But I got a couple of 90 second exposures, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the result here. Just like I said, just getting started on kind of making some of these videos. And I'm sure as I go along, I'll get better at making them and, and start explaining more in more detail how I do things, set up process, gear, etc. So if you'd like, be sure to check out my website, www.astrophotobooth.com. I'll be selling, eventually be selling photo prints um, of some of my astrophotography that I've taken over the years. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and I'll have more videos in the future, so be sure to subscribe.